This project enables wireless remote control of an electrical outlet over the internet using an internet camera. I will be using the Chinese infrared controlled electrical socket made by Kaka. It sells on eBay for as little as $3.68 including shipping. It can be trained to operate with any infrared remote, even a TV remote. You click it once to turn it on, you click it again to turn it off. I will be using a dedicated single button infrared transmitter. The faceplate is easily removed and is just stuck on with adhesive. Next, you remove the three or four screws to expose the printed circuit board. You will need to be able to access the reverse side of the board. The contact pad of interest has two through holes that connect to the reverse side. We will connect our wires there. To make our connections, we need to connect two wires to the desired through holes on the reverse side of the board. First, we must scratch off the solder resist and then apply some solder to the through hole. Next, we heat the pretend wire against the soldered through hole, making the connection for both of the wires. Finally, we'll drill a hole through the case put the wires through the hole so the case can continue to be used manually if desired. With the wiring complete, we can put everything back together. Install the battery, reinstall the screws, and reapply the faceplate with the sticky backing. Okay, it's time to connect our wires to our IP camera. The green connector on the back, the left tube connection, are for the relay contacts. There is no polarity involved as it is just a contact. The right two connectors are for external sensor. We will not be using those. This camera is a WANS view. Uh, it is basically the same as a FOSCAM.
Next, we will be operating the camera's relay contact from the web page that is issued out of the camera, thus turning on the electrical socket. You'll see the lights come on, which means the socket is active. All right, there, there's a chain contact and a broken chain contact. We press the chain, then the unbroken chain. That's the same as pressing your finger down and releasing it. Now the contact is hot. We go back and we press the relay contact again, the chain down, then the broken chain. That's, that, once again, is like depressing and releasing the IR transmitter. Now the relay is off. To search for these inexpensive IR sockets, simply go to eBay and search for IR Remote Control Outlet. Finally, for more information, go to my blog, dzrmo.wordpress.com. Thank you for watching.